Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. We are just moments away from kickoff, and we've got a good one on tap between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Pittsburgh Steelers. So with that, let's get you up to Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. Standing by for the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the steel capital of the world, Pittsburgh, PA, and Heinz Field. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Pittsburgh Steelers. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we look at this Steeler ball club entering play. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the Bengals here, they come in playing some decent football, 5-3 and three in their last eight games. And they looked awfully good last week and came away with a two-touchdown victory. They did have a few reasons for concern defensively, but all in all, they'll take a repeat here if they could get it. It's the final three weeks of the season. Still plenty to play for here as we're underway in week 15. This will be taken in at the one. Then he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So the Steelers' offense getting set for their first drive. Commanding the offense will be the highly touted USC product, Sam Darnold. He had the numbers of a game last week that if you win, you talk about him being a gritty guy, managing the game, getting it done. But they lost. So obviously, two interceptions, one touchdown pass, that's not going to be good enough. Got to get that changed around. Now a play fake here on first down. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. Offensive starters, here they are. David DeCastro, what do you think about him, Charles? Brandon could not have been better trained at Stanford. So well-schooled in the run game and the pass game, and especially in pro principles. David DeCastro could be an all-pro in the years to come. And it's complete. He gets this one to Washington. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. It's our time. It's our time. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. Back to throw, Darnold. And that will be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. It'll be a 47-yard punt with a net of 40 following a seven-yard return. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And they'll go on the ground. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. And this O-line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. Looking to throw on second down. Trubisky. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. 
Time for a look at our starters here on defense. And this unit, very tough to throw against. Currently second best in the NFL. And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top 10 in the league against the pass, but the bottom half of the league in sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make sense. Imagine if this group ever put pressure on the QB, they'd easily move into the top five. Pressure comes, and Trubisky goes down. You see me? You see me? They can't stop me out here. You know darn well both of these teams reviewed the film and saw that this defense had five sacks last week. They got to keep their QB upright. And they're going to try their best to do exactly that. But they're facing a team where getting to the quarterback is a mindset. It's a mantra for them. And they play a game within the game. And you know what it is? Go, let's, go. let's race to the quarterback and see who gets there first. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. You know, in our research packet this week, prepping for the game, so many articles from the local beat writer about the offensive struggles of this team and what will they do this offseason? What do you think they'll do? Well, number one, they'll turn to their self-scouting report. And every team that's any good does this. They have outside groups, check out their team, scout them, and tell you who can play, who can't play, and reasons why. Some of it may just be health. They have to get some guys healthy and back out on the field. But overall, evaluate this squad and make the changes that you need to. From the 21, it's second and 10. Check tight end, check tight. Check tight. Here's Darnold. And he fires one incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver that time. Third down here. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Darnold now to throw. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively. Brings up fourth down. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. Illegal block in the back. Return team. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Now Trubisky on first down. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Throwing here, Trubisky. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Well, this crowd does not like that call. Understandable reaction from them. That's their team that the penalty is going against. But you and I both know they're going to take care of the quarterback. Trubisky will throw. He'll get this to his speedster, Paul Richardson. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. This drive starts with two steps forward and now one back. A pair of first downs and here a loss of yardage. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home, yo. Let's make these babies On second down now, Akers. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. On third down, Akers, and he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Kill, kill, kill. 
On first and 10, it's Trubisky. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Now Trubisky. That's going to be caught by Richardson. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 30. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence. When in doubt, find your veterans. I used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this. When he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Stephon Tua came out at Notre Dame as another one of those really tall defensive ends, and you just wonder, would they be able to have the leverage to bend and make plays? I think he just gave us an answer with that tackle. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle, right? No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend, don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Ah, uh, you like Come that on. Well, What does that mean, break out the, just because you break, you break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no watch, idea. Watch a slant, watch a slant, watch a slant. On first down, Darnold. And he's got his man, the tight end, McDonald. There are the numbers for McDonald from a week ago. Ten catches for an even 100 yards. And the competition gets a little bit tougher here because he's got to go against the number one ranked defense in the NFL against the pass, the latest incarnation of the no-fly zone. To throw again on second down. Darnold, Washington's got it. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. James Washington, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Steelers have taken the lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. 
From the shotgun is Trubisky. He's going to float this one deep right side. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. That's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think it. you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. James Washington making his way back out towards the huddle. Well, he's within shouting distance of a 1,000-yard season. Going to need a pretty good finish, though, if he wants to reach that mark. Well, I like how you phrased it, partner. He is within shouting distance. If he stays on this pace, he's got a shot at it. But he needs a big game in there, right, to make sure that he gets it. So you know that during the week, in practice, and, and look, he asked for the ball all the time anyway. He's really <laughs> going to ask for the ball and let his quarterback know he's open. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. <laughs> On first and 10, Darnold. And he rifles one incomplete. Vance McDonald, the tight end, was the target. And that'll bring up second down. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So that one will be accepted. They'll run it now out of the gun. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. From the gun on third down, here's Darnold. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down. They'll run on first down. It's Bowman. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Single, single. One-yard gain. A quick throw complete to Washington. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. They completed the screen on the perimeter, but boy, that was textbook defense. Exactly as you're taught to play against a wide receiver screen, and they snuffed it out for a loss of yardage. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Kyle Van Noy able to record his fifth sack of the season. Well, the pass rush has been a real strength of late. They know how to get after the quarterback. Absolutely. Four sacks last week. That's their first one here. Anything in particular you've seen from them or on film? I think that they're winning athletically up front, winning those one-on-one -on -one battles. But also, when the offensive line wants to keep everyone in and mass protect, they know how to scheme their way back to the quarterback as well. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? But that definitely was excellent, wasn't it? On first down, Akers. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now it's Trubisky toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Now Trubisky to throw. He's going to sling this deep downfield, and that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 
That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a give right side. Bowman. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Play action. It's Darnold. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. The Steelers on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and three. And to give this time to the tailback. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. But a good play is made on defense. Oftentimes, leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned. All the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they were able to stop him short of a first down. All day, baby, all day. The Bengals drive about to get going. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side, and he'll be corralled right around the 34. They'll get 14 on that one. Good for a Bengal first down. They'll run on first down. Akers. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now a handoff here to his running back. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. There to stop him, Terrell Edmonds. On second down, Akers. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. And the Bengals on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and five. Now it's Trubisky. And Eifert has it. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A good pick up there, 26 yards. A first chance in the red zone for the Bengals now. They've got a first and 10 at the 17. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And that is incomplete. Another good drive, Charles, but it looks like another that might end in a field goal try. They've made some nice plays. They've given themselves opportunities, but as you noted, another field goal attempt coming up, and that's not how they want to end drives. They've got to figure out what's the final touch that they need to push it across the goal line. Yeah, still yet to find the end zone. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, Parker, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder... Are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, get you six? The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. From the 29, Darnold, and that is incomplete here. Right there on the coverage was the safety, Jesse Bates. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Here's Darnold, and he comes back with one complete. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. 
Oh, they stopped him shy of the marker, thought they were bringing up fourth down, and then that penalty. Let's face it, they thought they had bent but could absorb that, right? Instead, they broke as a result of their own penalty. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Right back to him on first down. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. And the Steelers on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This time it's third and three. Darnold from the gun. Complete to Washington. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag, that guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. So they're back at the seven now for third and goal. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Kyle Van Noy in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. This offensive line has struggled. In fact, when we sat down with the coach, he said, it's been in tatters lately. They allowed six sacks in their last game. Just gave up another one right there. In tatters, so it sounds a little bit like this right now. Exactly. It's like that paper being ripped. And right now, they've got to find a way to get it back together. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because the extra point's not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. The Bengals getting set to go. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. On second down now, Akers. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. And the Bengals on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This will be third and five. Here's Trubisky. He's got his man, Boyd. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Ten yards there on a Bengal first. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And his pass incomplete. It certainly looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. Here's Trubisky to throw. And the catch good. It's Eifert. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Trubisky and the troops staying out there. They will go for it. They'll try and throw for it with Trubisky. And that is going to be incomplete. Mike Tomlin takes a shot here, but to no avail. And this Steeler defense able to come up with a stop. 
And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. And it's complete. He gets this one to Washington. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. A shotgun snap for Darnold. And yes, complete to the tight end McDonald. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Here we go, let's bring it. Let's go, let's bring it. Let's bring it. Again, Darnold. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Got an open man. It's Washington. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. Badgley able to punch this one through. And that'll open the lead up to a touchdown now at 13-6. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. Let's go. Let's do this. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game, because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, time for a sprint to the finish as it's time to get you caught up with what's happening around the NFL here in a pivotal Week 15. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors but overall I think they wanted to be positive with them guys we're right there just not playing as well as we need to let's pick it up and we still have a chance to win this game yeah they do we'll see if they can pick it up you know despite the score line I think they've got to like where they are here they're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game I'm gonna follow right along with you because 
the spot they're in now on, is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Single, single, single slot, single slot. Now Trubisky. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Trevor Williams with a pick. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Time for the Steelers offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Here comes the boom! I see you, boy! I see you! Here's Darnold now on second down. And he's got his man, the tight end, McDonald. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped this. just before the 35. 22 yards there, a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down. Throwing on second down, Darnold. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Washington's got it. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. And this one is right down Broadway. And that one makes this a 10-point game. It's 16 to 6. So three field goals that he's hit now. This last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. And this offense led by Mitchell Trubisky going to make their way back out there. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give him maybe a yard, and it'll be second down. They'll keep it on the ground. Akers, and they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing here, Trubisky. Complete, Richardson has it. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 18 yards on that one, and the Bengals are moving. First down. Trubisky now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and ten. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 12 yards that time and a Cincinnati first down. Alert, alert. 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. A gain of three, second down. On second and seven, Trubisky over the middle, and it's incomplete. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. From the shotgun is Trubisky. That's going to be caught by Richardson. A Bengal first down on the 16-yard pickup there. On first down, Akers, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Second and five now. Trubisky, he gets this one to Boyd. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. Trubisky will throw. Now Trubisky lost the football. Holding offense. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. And it takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? <laughs> no. No, not at all. And he takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Now Trubisky to throw. Got his man, it's Eifert. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. They do get eight out of the pitch and catch. However, it's fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. So that's three field goals for him now, but heck, he's not even halfway to his career best of seven. Seems like the seven field goal games are the kind of games I always get assigned to in my other job. Let's hope for this offense's sake they can start cashing in on a few of these drives. Good work, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Sam Darnold leading the offense out for their next possession. How do you break down his game so far? Just the one touchdown pass, but sometimes the touchdown pass stat category, that doesn't tell the whole story. It really doesn't, not until you balance it with the error side, you know? And in this case, he hasn't thrown any interceptions. So a lot of people would call this almost a pedestrian game, kind of a bus driver game. But that's just really wrong. Being a bus driver is a good thing if you're running a football team because that means you're in control and you're taking your team to the right places. Yeah, he's been pretty solid. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. From the 50, it's Darnold. And this one's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. That didn't appear to be a run, but he just started. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Carl Lawson in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. And out now, here come the Bengals. 
And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three point the kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Toe <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. A five-yard loss there is going to bring up fourth down. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's the Bengals. They've got the football, but they trail here as we get rolling in quarter number four. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. So with the Steeler offense on their way out, let's take a look at the playoff picture of the AFC. And it's right about this time of year you start to say this is when the cream rises to the top. Week 15, three weeks left to go, but still plenty to be determined. And I think for most teams, the obvious is to try and be the number one or number two seed. But when you look at it across the league and in throughout the history of trying to get to the Super Bowl, the teams you really fear are the ones that get hot and sometimes sneak in at a five or a six seed because we've seen those teams actually get to the Super Bowl and occasionally win it. Yeah, you think of the Giants a couple of times. Steelers have done it. You're right. It has happened and will happen more in the future, I'm sure. Well, the Steelers on third down. They've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. This will be third and six. Now they go screen. It's complete. Fourth down now after a loss of two. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. 12 yards on the return that time. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. Now it's Trubisky. He completes it to Boyd. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into go, enemy territory. Give him 17 and a Cincinnati first down. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Trubisky to throw again. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Sheds off the tackle. 22 yards there, a first down. Come on now, let's go. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. From the red zone now, here's Trubisky on first down. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Call it a one-yard gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Right here, right here. Shift! Watch the shift! And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. The dump off gets him only one, and now you're looking at a third down. On third down, 
Akers. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. So an interesting call there to take the three. I mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the air. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. Play action. It's Darnold. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. He's got a man complete. And all the way down to the 35. It's a big play there for the Steelers. 43 yards. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. And an alley to run. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Back to throw, Darnold. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left hash, this from 46. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And that'll make this a seven-point game. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. The Bengals drive about to get going. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. A Bengal first down on the 16-yard pickup there. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Now a throw for the left sideline, and he's got it. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So a challenge is upon us. I tell you, close game, fourth quarter. This is a huge decision. Oh, no doubt about that, partner. A lot has to be riding on this call. And you know it is a tight one because it has to be indisputable visual evidence in order to change it. Now here's the big question. Do they actually have that evidence? I'm about to find out. The ball carried by the wide receiver. He's on the behind the line of well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself. 
but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the player or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so nowhere to escape, and he goes down. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Now it's Trubisky. Throw left side complete. That's Boyd. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 24-yard line. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Holding offense. Umpire threw the flag usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. Now a throw left sideline here is complete, and he is out of bounds inside the 30. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll make this a second and long. Throwing again on second down. Trubisky. Oh, no, he lost the football. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness that defensive line is eating them alive. Sam Darnold leading the offense out for their next possession. And the passing game, I mean, look at the numbers. It's fallen off. When, when a team is struggling, sometimes you look at the quarterback. When the quarterback starts to struggle, who goes over and picks him up? Yeah, that's always a big one, isn't it? Usually, there's a quarterback whisperer somewhere. And what I mean by that is, whether it's an assistant coach, whether it's one of his best friends on the team, someone that can get in his ear, get with him and say, all right, my man, what do you need? What's going on here? So he's one person he can lean on. He's got to lean on that guy right now. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. Now it's Darnold. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they did. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Now Darnold. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Darnold now to throw. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. Here's Jordan Berry now. He's been terrific so far. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. This will be fielded at the 17. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Trubisky readies the offense. Down by seven, a little over a minute and a half remaining. Now a deep ball here, hauled in just past the 50. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. He's back to throw. 
Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Richardson. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. They'll look to throw, and that is incomplete. Jeff Swain, the intended receiver, and it's third and five. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. He'll look to throw, and the throw there going to be incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offense. And with a flag down, he goes down. So they're able to sack him. Now the penalty looks like it could be holding. Let's find out. And they will elect to decline the penalty. Everything turned out the way they wanted it to. No sense in even having to take that one. Hence the decline. Now Darnold. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Now a handoff here to his running back. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Here's Jordan Berry now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And this will be taken at the 13. And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. One possession game. <laughs> Time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. Another throw on second down and this one incomplete as well. Back to throw. This secondary as a unit, they've worked really well together in this one, especially late. A lot of cohesiveness, a lot of communication, and some great athleticism. They're playing so well now, a nickname is sure to follow. They're going to have to name this whole unit soon. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. He was looking for Paul Richardson there. And it's second down. Here's Trubisky. He's going to let it fly. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. One last shot for Trubisky. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So for Pittsburgh, it's a fourth win of the campaign as they get to 4-10 and ten on the year. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the San Francisco 49ers. Meanwhile, for the Bengals, they'll drop to 9-5 and five on the year. 
And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Indianapolis to take on the Colts. Thanks for...